Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about Earth Leakage Circuit Breaker, which is also called as ELCB in the subject of basic electrical engineering. In this video, I will explain you what is ELCB, what are the types of ELCB, and the working of each and every type of the ELCB. Okay, so without any delay, let's get into the video. First of all, ELCB is nothing but it is a safety device which is used in the electrical machines to avoid electrical shocks and protect humans. So whenever there is excess current, so if the current is leaking from the circuit, the ELCB will break the circuit open so that the no current will flow that is it will make the circuit as a open circuit. If the circuit is made as an open circuit, obviously no current will flow, right? So basically ELCB is a safety device like how we use MC MCB and MCCB in the same way we are using this ELCB also as a safety device in order to prevent the electrical shocks okay so we have two types of ELCB basically the first one is a voltage operated and the other one is a current operated ELCB current operated ELCB is also called as RCCB okay rccb is nothing but residual current cu circuit breaker okay voltage operated elcb and current operated elcb got it so now let us see about each let us first understand about uh, voltage operated and then let us understand about the current operated elcb okay so uh, this is the voltage elcb voltage operated elcb let us discuss about what happens so this is the diagram and here we have three phase connection R, Y, B and this is neutral. Okay. So now let us see how the uh, flow of current goes on in case of normal condition. So in case of normal condition what happens is whatever current you are giving through this R, Y, B through these three phases. So you are giving some current. The same current has to go out from the neutral that is I, N is equal to IR plus IY plus IB this is in case of a normal situation so suppose you are giving 10 amperes of current uh, through RYB then that 10 amperes of current will come inside the load will use the same 10 amperes of current so the same 10 amperes of current will be used by the load and it will send back the 10 amperes of current through neutral so this is what happens in case of normal situation but suppose current is being leaked then in that case what happens so in that case what will happen is suppose we are sending 10 amperes of current through RYB and 1 ampere of current is being leaked only 9 amperes of current is being sent through the neutral so combined from RYB we are sending 10 amperes of current 1 ampere of current is being leaked at the load and only 9 amperes of current is going back which means I n is not equal to I r plus I y plus I b. Okay, this is not the ideal condition. It should not be like this. Current should not so leak. So now, right? what will happen to this one ampere of current? This one ampere of current should go into the ground. So how it will go into the ground? Through relay. Okay, relay is a voltage operated device. It is a voltage operated device in voltage elcb we are having relay which is a voltage operated device this one ampere of current will go into the ground through this relay and also observe that this relay is connected to three things to load to the ground and to the circuit breaker why is it connected to the load whatever current is leaked at the load that leak current has to be sent to the relay that's why connection to the relay and why it is connected uh, connected to the ground because whatever current is sent by the load that has to be sent to the ground so that's why and the other connection is to the circuit breaker so whenever relay receives the current the relay will send a signal to the circuit breaker saying that the some current has been leaked some current is being leaked in the circuit the relay will send a signal to the circuit breaker then what circuit breaker will do it will trip the main supply this is the main supply right 
it will trip the main supply and it will switch off the main supply got it so this is what happens in case of a voltage operated elcb in voltage operated whatever current is coming through ryb the same current has to go to the neutral then it is said to be normal condition if it is not going in that way whatever leaked current is there that leaked current is sent to the relay and relay will send it to the ground at the same time relay will also send a notification it will send a signal to the circuit breaker saying that some current is being leaked so you just switch off the main supply then circuit breaker will switch off the main supply so that no current will flow okay this is how voltage operated circuit breaker works now let us see about the current operated so in current operated as i already said it is also called as residual current circuit breaker rccb okay so let us see how this will work uh, this is also simple the diagram looks very heavy to you but it's simple i'll explain you first uh, so let us see how a normal condition will work so okay in case of normal condition what will happen is the current will come inside through the phase okay it will come inside through the phase and from phase it will come to the right side windings these are the right side windings okay phase to right side windings to the phase again to here we have the phase wire so the same phase wire is is uh, like is connected to this right side windings okay and these right side windings are again connected to this phase wire so the current will come into the phase then load okay the load will utilize the current and send it back to the neutral and from neutral again to the left side windings these left side windings are connected to the neutral okay so uh, left side windings and from left side windings it will go to the neutral done it is a case of normal flow so in normal flow phase to right windings to phase to load and load to neutral to left side windings to neutral so this is the normal flow in case of a normal condition no current leakage no nothing uh, no overload no short circuit no nothing abnormal condition this this will work but in case of abnormal condition and before that let me tell you one thing whenever current is passed through the windings windings are nothing but they are the copper windings right so copper is nothing but it is a metal whenever current flows through the metal obviously magnetic field will be generated right so that magnetic field will be equal to the amount of current okay suppose here uh, we have 5 uh, 10 amperes of current is coming through the phase wire let us assume then here 10 webers of magnetic field will be generated same here 10 amperes of current is going back right so the same 10 webers of current will be generated okay but this 10 webers of current will be in this direction and this 10 webers of current will be in this direction how do you determine the direction by using the right hand thumb rule so we will have the right hand thumb rule like this right thumb will indicate the current and the curl direction of the fingers will indicate the direction of the magnetic field so okay this the current is coming in this direction that is our thumb is in this direction so if our thumb is in this direction the fingers are curled in which this this way in this way the fingers are curled in this direction so this way it will come okay so based on the uh, right hand thumb rule we will be doing this okay but i showed you with my left hand right okay sorry leave it you know the uh, right hand thumb rule right right uh, so now uh, 10 webers of magnetic field in this direction and 10 webers of magnetic field in this direction so both will cancel each other because both of them are in opposite direction right so both will cancel each other which means the net magnetic field will be equal to zero so i net is zero and b net is also zero this is in case of a normal condition there is no magnetic field there is no attraction there is no trip bar nothing nothing will work here but in case there is some abnormal condition then what will happen i'll again repeat the normal condition just listen phase to right side windings to phase and load will use the current L load to neutral to left side windings and to the neutral wire again current is net current is zero next 
when the current is flowing through this metal windings obviously some magnetic field will be generated that magnetic field will be equal to the amount of current okay equal in the sense not exactly equal but it is in direct proportion okay so uh, now here 10 webers of magnetic field in this direction and here 10 webers of magnetic field in this direction both will cancel each other okay since both are in opposite direction same value opposite direction right both will cancel each other so the net magnetic field will also be zero in case of normal condition now let us see about the abnormal condition in abnormal condition what will happen first basically now in abnormal condition the same 10 amperes of current is coming through the right windings and the same phase and load so here suppose 2 amperes of current is being leaked then what happens only 8 amperes of current is going here right so when 8 amperes of current is going only 8 webers of magnetic field is generated here 10 amperes of current is coming then 10 webers of magnetic field same 10 webers is generated but here only 8 webers is generated and that 8 amperes will go to the neutral now what about the remaining 2 amperes okay see the same windings the same windings are also connected to this solenoid so here the same windings are also connected the face and the neutral both are again connected to the solenoid so whatever excess current is there that excess current will be sent here and because of the uh, excess current the magnetic field will be generated here so because of that magnetic field what will happen is whatever plunger is there here so that plunger is attracted towards because plunger is obviously a metal and which is which which gets attracted to magnetic field so this plunger will get attracted towards the solenoid okay and you see that this plunger is also connected to the switch present here the neutral and the face switch is present here right so the plunger is also connected to the switch actually the line has to not be uh, cross like this it has to be straight so try drawing the solenoid a bit uh, above so that it, here you will get a straight line between the plunger and the switch now when the plunger is displaced obviously what will happen the wire will also get disturbed right when you are pulling something backside if any wire or thread is connected to that the thread also will get disturbed so when you are pulling this plunger towards the side that is we are not pulling the magnetic field which is generated that is pulling so when you are pulling this plunger backside then the switch will become open okay so initially how the switch is it is closed so this is a switch so this will become like this okay it will become like this and this will become a open circuit same this will also become like this and this will become a open circuit so that no current will flow and it will stop and it will the device will be protected here we have the tripping relay then why do we have this tripping relay you may get it out the tripping relay is to inform that you know some current is being leaked so the ELCB will be turned off okay simple in case of abnormal condition that is in case of a current leakage whatever leakage current is sent to the solenoid and because of the metal present here the magnetic field will be generated around the solenoid and okay the solenoid will attract the magnetic field generated around the solenoid will attract the plunger towards its side whenever plunger is disturbed obviously the wire associated with the plunger also will get disturbed and the switches will be open so that it becomes an open circuit no current will flow our device is safe no current is being leaked so that we go don't get any electrical shock and the tripping relay is there to inform the ELCB to turn off okay this is how ELCB works in case of a current leakage so this is about cur residual current circuit breaker RCCB which is nothing but current operated ELCB we have seen about voltage operated ELCB and also current operated ELCB right so for both of them you need to explain the you need to draw the diagram you need to explain the normal condition and you also have to explain the abnormal condition okay uh, so that's all guys thanks for watching the video till the end and apart from this if you're still having any doubt let me know in the comment section uh, the next video will be about the MCCV next wires and cables earthing and so on they will follow okay thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel for more such videos